Hello and welcome down to my teacher studio here at TrueFit Golf Centre in Warrington. I'm Jed Walters and today I'm going to share with you the secret, yes, the secret to more speed, more distance. Let's go and take a look. Well, what is the secret then? It's really the hands. If we think about it, a lot of the analogies that we've had over the years are like skimming a stone, that kind of feeling. So when you're thinking about that skimming stone movement, we've got the feeling of the, for the arms moving forward, but we've got this movement here. So we can see from this angle as the elbow moves forward and then the wrist releases the energy. And the hands are gonna generate a lot of speed. Now, it's one of those things where I can hear you saying, well, what about the body, the turn, using the ground, all those things. And the body harnesses the speed. The body coils up to give you a platform to release the speed at its maximum, its optimum. But we've got to remember it's about releasing the speed. So the hands play that pivotal role. So here's a little drill for you. Now, remember, if you don't hold the golf club correctly or more in the fingers of your hands, then you're not gonna be able to release it anyway. So that's the first thing you've gotta do is make sure that you have the fingers around the handle so you've got the ability to release that energy, yeah? Then we're gonna do a little drill. So what I want you to do is take your setup as normal. I've got seven iron here. I've got flight scope on there. So we'll get some data as to how far this golf ball is going to go with this little swing. And the swing is really a little bit of, there's going to be a little bit of arm movement, but it's really feeling hinging the wrist and then releasing the energy with the hands. So I might finish with my hands somewhere here, but there's going to be very, very little body movement. And we'll look at how much energy it produces and how far I can propel the ball with just this little movement, okay? Let's hit a couple, let's hit two or three. Okay, so that one's gone. I see that, I mean, that's gone beyond the 100 yard post. And when we have a little look at the data in a second, we'll see that you know, I mean, I would normally be 160, maybe 165 at a push with 7-iron. So it, this is going to show really how much energy is being released on this really short movement by the hands. It's a really nice flight. And again, you can see how my body's not really turned anything. There's a tiny little bit of rotation from the hips, but it's really more as my arms have gone past the front of my body there. Let's hit one more, and then we'll have a little look at what exactly has happened through the data. So, small feeling back, and then just releasing the energy, that wrist and forearm relationship. There we go. And that one looks like it could be the best of the bunch in terms of its overall view of the flight. So let's have a little look at what the data said. Okay, so I'm gonna put the data on the screen here for you now. So if we have a little look there, shot number one. So club head speed, 66.2 miles an hour, 86.3 miles an hour on the ball speed, 111.6 yards of carry. So when we're thinking about, you know, as I said, sort of 160, 165 at a push, you know, that is two thirds roughly of the distance that I would propel the golf ball just from releasing the energy through my hands. If we look at shot number two, so 70.2 in terms of club head speed, 88 ball speed, 116 yards on that one. And the third one, I did say the third one, as its imagery looked like it was the best, uh, 129 off a 72 miles an hour club head speed. So that club head travel is 72 miles an hour, that really, really short motion, nearly 93 miles an hour in terms of ball speed. So it's easy to see there how if you've got the club in the right point in your hands and you release the energy from your hands and not just think about it as a body swing but make sure that we release the energy that we've harnessed in that back swing then we're going to be able to optimize the distance hit the ball further and just play better golf. <laughs> As always, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, then there's two things that I really need you to do. Number one is to hit the like button 
and post your comments in the box below. I really want to hear your thoughts. Number two, you subscribe to the channel if you don't already. Don't forget to click that bell notification so you know when the next video is being posted. And uh, look forward to seeing you again in the next lesson. Thanks for watching.